Hi Commanders, Commander Talis here. Today we're going to talk about a system where explorers can make a whole heap of credits and also get a decent amount of materials and data for engineering. Okay, so that system is the Quint system. Now, many people have known about Quint, but since 2.3 many people are believing that it has been nerfed or essentially made irrelevant with the limit of three missions. However, this is actually not true for a couple of reasons. In case you don't know what the Quince situation was, basically you have a starport and very very close by is Planet Cosmala Awards that has a scan object in a base and there are many missions to go backwards and forwards scanning this object. Just a tip to get you started, as an explorer you should have a couple of pages of exploration data before you go to Quinn's. That will allow you to hand in one page to each of the stations that are controlled by different factions, getting you to cordial with each, thus making getting to start making money with Quinn's missions a lot easier. Now, the reason people are saying that this has been massively nerfed, you used to be able to stack about 20 missions, now the limit is 3. However, to compensate for the decrease in missions, they've increased the credits per mission. And this buff has been significant. For example, in the lower ranks, as your payout is determined by your exploration rank, the buff I've calculated is around 50%. So for people in the lower exploration ranks, you won't be making as much money as an elite explorer, but compared to what you used to, Quince has been buffed. And also, Quince has had fundamentally a stealth buff. In that, the previous missions with the scan, they tended to have high defences. Whereas the missions have been changed now. I remember the first mission I did post 2.3, the scan uh, beacon had no defences at all. So I was able to literally fly down, land right next to it, pop out the rover, scan, pop in and go straight back up. That significantly decreases the time that you need to take to complete a mission. So the missions themselves have actually had a nerf. Also, another reason why these missions were so powerful pre 2.3 was the massive amount of rep you could get with the Imperium forces. That said, this has kind of been nerfed. So if you hear someone talking about a quince nerf, it's not the credits that have been nerfed, because I've still been able to make roughly what I used to make pre-2.3. However, I'll talk about the specifics about how I'm doing that in a moment, because a few things have changed. But what has been nerfed is the reputation. Don't, now, don't get me wrong, it still has a decent reputation. But, realistically, really you go to Quince for the money and to a lesser extent the materials. There is another method if you're not an explorer or you're trying to get your exploration rank up in Quince that I've recently become aware of thanks to the folks at Down to Earth Astronomy. I'm sorry I don't know the guy's name. But he pointed out that there's a number of tourist missions where you take the tourists in a passenger ship to a tourist beacon which is essentially a scan object scan it and then you can go straight back to uh, Millerport which is the starport that all this uh, sorry New Jeffries in the case of the passenger missions but Millerport for the uh, base scanning but because the passenger missions uh, have a beacon so nearby New Jeffries you can just go there and scan it and because there are several uh, passenger beacons, there seems to be a bug with the passenger missions that you can go just to the nearest one, scan it, everything completes, and then you can go on back. So that is a viable way to also build uh, your exploration rank so you can build significant money with, with the missions. Or you can just continue doing that. That said, as a way of building your rank, you're not going to make as much money unless you've got a really big passenger ship like a blue line. So just be aware that the Beluga Liner is pretty well much the only ship you can use to make the same amount of money as you can with missions and quints. If you're using a smaller ship, well, 
you might do it to build up your exploration rank or ideally just go exploring frankly because the first oh, four ranks in Explorer are ridiculously easy to get. I think you only need 30 credit, 30 million credits of exploration data and one major trip out of the bubble should do that. I mean, I went 7,000 light years out of the bubble and I got 40 million in exploration data. So, yeah. Okay. So now, just in regards to quints, you've got to be aware that because your rank uh, controls your payouts. While you're in the lower rank, you're only going to see lower payouts. But I do have proof that the, even the lowest rank missions, their buff has actually been more than the higher ones. For example, in the extremely low ranks and missions before 2.3, you used to get about 30,000 credits per mission. Now you had 20 missions, so it'd be about 600,000 credits, or at least that was my experience the first time I went out. Now that these missions are two to three hundred thousand, it means either you're making the same or you're making an additional two hundred thousand credits. And I have seen higher, but again, you don't want to be depending on luck. My point is, even though Quince, the the feeling of Quince has changed, the feeling of the missions, the grind has changed, it does feel quite different because A, the missions are shorter and you have a shorter period of um, board hopping, it does feel quite different, but it is still functionally the same. And so the people in charge have essentially kept the cash side of things, maybe a minor decrease in the cash if you're unlucky, but they've kept that and lowered the stress on the servers. So I think it's a good job from their perspective. And I'm really impressed with what they've done there. Now, of course, if their intent was a massive nerf, nerf of quints, they've failed. And I believe there's currently errors happening in the new mission system, simply because the limit should be three quests. But at the moment, I've seen it as high as nine. Now, <laughs> for an elite quest, you can get you know three million credits at the top level, probably about two million, 1.5 at the lower end. Now, can you imagine taking nine, three million credit missions? Well, it can happen, but it's rather unlikely. You see, as far as I can tell, the bug that exists currently is if you take two high paying missions, then log out, go into a new mode, and keep logging out until you found one with heaps of scan missions, you can then take every single scan mission. Now, obviously, since you're taking uh, just any scan mission, they won't all be high paying. But because of that, and also without it, I have never seen less than 26 million in quints, even post 2.3. So, okay, quints has not been nerfed. It has been changed, it has been drastically changed, but it has not been nerfed. Be aware, Commanders, that if you're going to sit down and grind quints, because of the way new, the new mission system works, you will actually get a lower hourly return after a little while, simply because the missions don't refresh as often as they used to. So if you are going to grind, do it in short but quick bursts. Just before we go, I thought I'd let you know the highest that I'd seen per hour. and. Commanders, please hold on to your seats because the highest I've seen per hour is, are you ready for it? Hold on tightly now, is almost 60 million per hour. Now, just be aware that I was only able to do that because I decided to just do a little bit of farming, came back, and thus got high value missions, you know, several million dollars a piece, came back sometime later, got another three. 3 million missions, came back for another 10-15 minutes later, got another 3, and it just multiplied throughout the hour, and, and as you can see, that adds up pretty pretty quickly. So, anyway, alright, I have to go. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share it with anyone you know who, who you think it might help. Talk to you later, Commanders. Commander Talus, out.